Hey what's up guys it's Clip here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today is going to be about this awesome anvil shooting machine. I call it anvil shooting machine. I know that's a cool name. Um, it just shoots an animal, anvil like usually you shoot TNT with these stuff. These dispensers. But I found out a way how to shoot anvils and I'll show you that in a bit. First off I just want to show you guys this. You can see that sheep is standing on my target right? Uh, okay, he's not standing on my target. Let me fix that. Okay, that sheep is standing on my target. Now, with one button, one anvil, a few TNT, a few redstone stuff. As you guys can see, it hit the target. Um, uh, yes, it's broken, but the sheep ran off. So, um, I'm going to retry. Let me just get another anvil. And show you guys how awesome this build is. If you want to reload this thing, you place your animal. Come on, you place your animal on that thing and shoot. Okay, now look at this. Animal is somewhere in the air, I don't know where, and it fell on the sheep. Cool, right? Uh, the sad thing is your animal br breaks slowly, so yeah, but that's not my fault. Anyways, now I'm going to show you guys how to build one of these anvil shooty things. First, you're going to need an, um, just a building block, like I'm just going to take a uh, blue wool, because why not? Now, redstone, because every redstone build of mine requires redstone and a torch. With that, you're going to need water, dispenser, repeaters, a piston, a normal one, not a sticky one, and an anvil. Also TNT, just, just a crap load of TNT. Depends on how many times you want to shoot. Actually, this thing is kind of a waste of um, iron, but it's really strong. One shots monsters, and you can just shoot in your base and watch the monsters die outside. So, yeah, if you're stinking rich in Minecraft, you can totally build this machine. Okay, so first off, make two holes. Okay, build this, and now fill this one side with. Uh, few dispensers seven dispensers and make the water flow to the end where you want to shoot now connect redstone with all of these at the back and over here let's wait over here let's put that to where we're going to place the button I don't have space in my inventory for a button I'll get back to that in a sec okay now Make this a bit away from that, so TNT doesn't damage it or whatever, although it's in water, just for in case. Now fill this with 9 repeaters, set all 9 repeaters to max. Next, we are going to need more redstone, because why not? Now place 2 lines of redstone, a block here, redstone there, 2 more blocks, break that one, a torch. On the torch, you place another redstone, and next to this, uh, I mean, on the torch, place another wool or whatever block you're going to use, and next to that, place a piston, and it will open like this. Yeah, I forgot to do this. It was too long away. Uh, it was too far away. So, yeah, just make it one block um, away from. Uh, just make it one block away from the TNT, like this. And now, on top of this, place a block. A piston and on top the piston you place an animal okay so now just with one button you see TNT you see redstone and there goes the anvil it just fell here you can make a target because it will always land here and always break slightly uh, so then every time you see like a cow or something walk here then 
you can just shoot it and yeah you can just come and get your anvil back but of course if your anvil is slightly broken like Dami's anvil let's see what happens if we shoot that okay here goes it here's the damage anvil there's the damage anvil it's in the sky and yeah it, it just fell here if you guys saw that but it broke so yeah used real anvils i'm not sure if the damaged ones work but they're still shooting but not working so yeah anyways guys thanks for watching this was it was a really quick tutorial a reds and wizards tutorial how to make a flying anvil shooter thingy this machine is really expensive to craft look at all this redstone and then not to mention the anvil and the piston like wow that's a lot well anyways guys if you enjoyed and don't forget to smash that like button and i'll see you guys in the next video bye